ITV. Come on in. Care package inbound, Thunderbird 5. Copy that, Virgil. You've got six replacement circuit boards, eight brand new CPUs, a dozen power connectors, and one double cheeseburger with extra pickles. There's not many things I miss about Earth, but this is one of them. Enjoy. Ugh, not now. Really? What do you got? A remote air traffic monitor just triggered an alert. There it is. Pilot of unidentified high altitude balloon, you might want to check your trajectory. You're wandering awfully close to the Southern Alps. Attention, pilot of high altitude balloon, you need to pull up. Repeat, pull up. Are you reading me? <laughs> Let's be what is friends. this? <laughs> Virgil, are you Let's still there? Friends. I think we have a situation. Five, four, three, two, one. Sending you the latest telemetry now. Oh, wow! Custom made, high altitude, helium filled, one of a kind. I can think of only one person who'd spend that much on a big balloon just for fun. Ah, oh, Francois Lemaire. If we had a frequent rescue program, he'd be gold status by now. Lemaire, this is international rescue. Do you read me? Lemaire. <laughs> there it is again. This automated message keeps popping up every time I try and contact the balloon. I don't like the look of that thing. We need to get on board. That balloon's over New Zealand's Southern Alps, practically our backyard. It won't take long for Thunderbird 1 to reach him. All right, I'm on my way. F-A-B. F-A-B. R-A-D. R-A-D? That's my catchphrase. Remember? It's... never mind. Keep trying to contact Lemaire, Thunderbird 5. I'll intercept him. Hopefully he's just asleep at the wheel. Strange. Where is he? Three th thousand channels and never anything to watch. Am I right? What? No, it's Le Maire and this silly balloon of his. Normally he can't wait to get his face on the news and brag about his latest adventure. But I don't see him anywhere. I need to look into this. R.A.D.
Copy. Lemaire. Hmm. I've got a visual on the balloon. The internal lights look to be on, but Lemaire's still not answering. Comms could be down or he might be hurt. I'm going to attach a line and then drag it clear of the valley. Uh, Scott, you do see the big mountain you're heading right towards, don't you? I see it. Just a couple more seconds. There! Whew, that was too close. Another wind blast. Detaching cable. Grapple isn't gonna work here. I need to land Thunderbird 1. We'll have to pick up Thunderbird 1 later. I'm gonna try something else. Don't do anything stupid down there, Scott. Define stupid! Scott, I'm picking up a ton of interference here. If you change position, I can't see a thing. You could say that! You're gonna miss the capsule. I'm not aiming for the capsule! some flying lessons. So, Francois Le Maire, if you are up, up and away in your mega balloon, then who exactly is taking a cruise on your super yacht? What are you gonna do? Give me a ticket. What are you doing in here? I... Le Maire? Is that you? Mm-hmm. That's the last time he'll try rollerblading on the deck of his yacht. In a Force 10 storm. But if you're here, then who's... Scott, come in. Scott, come in! Have fought into a trap! Scott! Oh. Kale, you're breaking up! Repeat transmission! Thunderbird 1, do you read me? Le Maire is not in that balloon. Repeat, he is not in there. Scott, the balloon is still descending. If you don't change course soon, you'll crash into the valley. But anyone could be in there. Scott, it might be a trap. Sounds like I don't have much of a choice, Kale. I'm going in. What have you got, Scott? Pirates? Balloon rustlers? It's way worse than that, John. <gasps> it's a teenager. Whoa, dude! You totally just exploded my heart! Like, kaboom! Who are you? Brandon Berenger. I help Mr. Lemaire with viral marketing and stuff. You probably know me by my online handle, B Extreme. My vlog is, like, way popular. And are you International Rescue? Sweet, I love you guys. Uh, wait, who needs rescuing? Take a wild guess, Brandon. Me? Awesome! You calling me filming this? Guys, uh, uh, be my guest. 
What are you even doing playing around with this thing? Mr. Le Maire asked me to inflate the balloon so people would think he was still out doing his thing. He's like her or something. But then I thought, hey, Brandon, why don't you take it for a spin too? Get some wild footage. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty something. Uh, why didn't you answer any of our calls? I was getting way too many of my followers calling in. So I switched to broadcast only. Hi! Ah, it's no good. Your altitude adjusters, they're shot. Yeah, I think I broke those. Then I thought, hey, Brandon, this is a balloon, right? Just let it float free, man. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, you could hit a mountain? Oh, yeah. Apart from that, though. I'm Brandon Berenger, he's Scott Tracy, and this is Totally Wild. Ugh, brace yourself, kid. Oh, man, safety belts. Really? Bringing her in for an emergency landing. Stand by. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, extreme! Ah. Woo! Ah. Woo! 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 <laughs> Intense! We totally crash into the mountain. Oh! We're rocking! We're rocking! Hey, take it easy. We're right on the edge here. Yeah, man. We are on the edge. No, I mean we're on the edge of the... Never mind. <sighs> this bridge is unstable. We're going to need an extraction. Hey, Brandon here. This is so cool. Me and Scotty are like exactly the same. Thrill junkies, man. <laughs> yeah, I think the kid's right, bro. They're like two peas in a pod. Yeah, well, this pea wants out of this pod and off of this mountain, so if you wouldn't mind. Okay, hang tight. I'm on my way. F-A-B. <laughs> Red. But Virgil, red. Brains, tell me you didn't interrupt my lawn so you could say your cat's phrase. What? No, that's R-A-D. I'm talking about this. Max, hurry up. Whoa! My new prototype, red, or rapid all-terrain descender. This is the perfect opportunity to test it out. That's great, Brains, but let's speed it up, shall we? Scott, finally. You and your new friend keep warm. Brandon, taking this balloon up was a bad idea. Didn't you do anything crazy like this when you were my age? What? Uh, me? W uh, well, maybe. <laughs> I knew it. Peas in a pod, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We can't stay here. Let's go. Serious. Virgil, I see you, but you won't be able to reach us from there. Brains gave me something that might help you get down the mountain. He calls it rad. Rad? Like that catchphrase he's been trying to use? No, that's R-A-D. I know. But if this thing works, we won't forget it. Stand by. 
Looking good, Thunderbird 2. Choppy up here. I'll try to retrieve the rat. It's no use, Virgil. The mountain's too unstable. We'll have to reach the package ourselves. Sorry, Scott. Good luck. Um, couldn't you just use your cool j, -j, -j jetpack and fly us over? Carrying both of us with these crosswinds? Uh, not a great idea. You up for a little mountain climbing, Brandon? Hook, hook, hook. Yep, just nod. Mm, yep. Keep moving, Brandon. Uh, just gonna t t take five here, okay? No, don't fall asleep. Brandon, do not fall asleep! We made it to the package. Brains, you want to tell me what I'm looking at? It's activated by voice recognition. All you need to say is deploy. Deploy? <laughs> oh, and remember to step back quickly before it opens up. Yeah. Thanks for the tip, Brains. Awesome. Whoa, this thing is crazy. What does it do? It is designed to make rapid descents over difficult terrain. Uh, Brains, this thing only seems to have one seat. Oh, yes. Did I forget to m mention that? Uh. Cozy. I like it. I really need to get off this mountain. Now, Scott, as you haven't used the rat before, I'm going to talk you through the controls for first. It works like a gy gyroscope. Mounted on a gimbal. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a case of learn on the job, Brains. Engage internal stabilizers. Oh, that's better. Try? No! We are not gonna fit! How do I make this thing thinner, Brains? Deploy the structural modulator. Uh, the what? The big red button! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, I don't feel so good. What? Uh, uh, hey! Why don't you start filming me again? Ooh, for real? Oh, Scotty, can you do a commentary for my extreme followers? Just make it cool, yeah? Well, cool? Uh, sure thing. Uh, this is Scott Tracy, International Rescue, piloting the RAD. And it's, uh, pretty rad, actually. Mm -mm. Told you it was a good name. Looks like that avalanche is dispersed. Although you might want to think about hitting the brakes before you run into base camp. Brakes. Brakes. Brains? Here they come. Actually, here they come really pretty fast. Huh? Uh, uh, we're not slowing down fast enough. Brains, is there anything else we can do? Um, like I said, it's only a prototype. Hey, do you still want to go? Seriously? She's all yours. Woohoo! Be extreme at the controls. <laughs> this better work. down. 
I'd call that test run a success. R.A.D. brains. R.A.D. Scott. Hey, you said it. High five, Max. Whoa. Hey, Scott. What happened to your number one fan? <sighs> Feeling a little motion sick, I think. This hardware was all for me. Uh huh. Oh man. I swear it won't happen again. I'm really sorry I borrowed Mr. Lemaire's balloon. You could tell him yourself. Oh, hello, boss. Um, sorry about, like, everything. He has only one thing to say to you after pulling a crazy stunt like that. You're promoted to chief test pilot. What? Mr. Lemaire recognizes a fellow adventurer when he sees one, Brandon. Oh, awesome! This is off the hook! Let's go back to my boss's yacht and celebrate. You think this rad rad ball can work on water? F.A.B., dude! I don't think he heard me. Scott? Scotty! I'll just go and talk to him. This is nice. We should invite that kid over. That would drive Scott up the wall. Exactly. Hey, Brandon. How'd you like to ride with me? In Thunderbird 2? Epic! So you're Virgil, right? Cool. I'm Brandon Behringer. You probably heard of my vlog, Be Extreme. It's got quite a lot of followers. I say quite a lot, I mean millions. I'm pretty cool. I thought, hey, Brandon, the coolest thing ever would be to travel in a Thunderbird, and the bigger and greener the better. And guess what, Virgil? I'm about to do that right now. Be Extreme.